This troubleshooting video will focus on some key points of setting up your footprint software. This video assumes that you've already connected to your footprint software as shown in our Accessing Footprints video. This video will touch on a few key settings of the footprint software and will also help you with troubleshooting if you're not getting any readings or your readings appear to be inaccurate. For full details on setting up your footprint software, be sure to check out our user's manual. Since we have our footprint software up and running, we're going to go to Edit, then System Setting Wizard. Select the Network Settings tab. Having the network settings provided to you by your router is the default, but if your router has been reassigned the IP on more than one occasion, you may want to uncheck this box to have the current IP set as static. The time and date should be kept at the default unless the gateway is not connected to a router that has internet access. In that case, unselect the checkbox to have the time set manually. The System Layout tab is extremely important if you have multiple panels or you have solar or wind generation. If you do have solar or wind generation or you are monitoring a single circuit, you want to answer yes to change the MTU configuration. Solar and wind generation customers should set MTU1 to adjusted load and connect this MTU to the main lines feeding the panel. Set the MTU monitoring your wind or PV system to generation. Customers wanting to monitor a single circuit would select standalone for that particular MTU so that the totals from this MTU will not be added to your overall calculations. The product ID tab is the most critical in the setup. You will not have any readings until the MTU IDs are properly recorded and your readings will not be transmitted to the display until the display ID is entered. If you have a wind or solar installation, it's extremely important that you go to the Footprint Settings tab. Underneath the first box, under Real-Time Kilowatt Usage, you want to enter in a negative number that reflects the size of your wind or solar installation. In this instance, we have a 5 kilowatt solar installation, so the minimum number is going to be changed to negative 5 or lower. Regardless of which settings are adjusted underneath the footprint settings, be sure that you go to the last tab. Click on Write to Device and select the Update button in order to save your settings. Make sure that the progress bar is complete before clicking Finish. If you have questions about your readings at this point, you will want to look at the Diagnostics page, or the Stats page as we call it. Go to your browser and backspace out the footprints.html from the address. Replace this with stats.htm, that's S-T-A-T-S dot H-T-M, and hit Enter. Note that your MTU IDs, if properly saved, should be in the table. Now note the MTU REC line, that's MTU REC line, and MTU SKP line. This is the ratio of packets of data received from the MTU versus those missed. This ratio should be about 80 to 20 or better. If the ratio is poor or the MTU REC is zero, you likely have a power line communication or PLC issue, and we will address this in the next video. But before proceeding to the next video, Look down the page at the last MTU ID line. If this is also all zeros, you do have a PLC problem. If the number is an ID that differs from your saved MTU ID, maybe you have a typo. Note the number returned for last MTU ID and enter it into your system settings wizard. If your MTU REC number is counting up but you have no data, look at the MTU voltage. If this is zero, then you likely have the black and red wires of your MTU on the same phase, and you should proceed to our 120 volt MTU connection video. If you have consistent MTU REC and a voltage reading, but your kilowatt readings don't appear to be correct, one of your CT clamps in the panel may need to be flipped. Try this test. Turn on a 240 volt load, let's say the HVAC or stove. On your dashboard, you should then see the kilowatt go up several kilowatts. If the reading stays low, flip one of the CTs over. If you have solar and you're unsure about your readings at this stage, do the same with your PV system off and be sure that the net reading not only goes up, but that it is a positive reading with the PV system off. If it's a negative reading, flip both MTUs over.